Hello and welcome back. This time we're talking about Boolean algebra. Okay. Boolean algebra. We have used already here on this page. Huh? I told you this is the Boolean equation. We want to talk about this. Huh? Talk about yeah, see it. This was the Boolean equation. We want to talk about this. Okay. We want to. Uh, get our knowledge out of it. I said, okay, there are different symbols and so on, and I explain why I use the other ones, so the mathematical usual ones. Yeah. So, I've prepared here a blank sheet of paper for us. Yeah. Please follow me. Shit. So, first, a digital signal yeah, can be represented by X, Y, some letter simply. Yeah? There is simply some letter. Yeah? And there are AND and ORs. Yeah? So AND connections can be with a point yeah? and the other possibility would be a little bit triangle, pike to the top. This is an AND. Okay. Then there is the OR, and the OR can be plus, yeah, or this. This is an OR. Yeah. These are the ones. Okay. Semicolon between. Yeah. These are the ones which are usually used. Yeah. However, I prefer to use the mathematical symbols. Why? Because we don't have to, to learn them. Yeah? If I see this, I have to remember, oh, is this now an OR and this is an AND and so on. And some of the rules of the Boolean algebra are pretty similar to the mathematical rules. Yeah? We will see this. And if we want to invert the signal, yeah? negotiate the signal, then we just add something like this. This means not. Okay. These are the symbols. And this one is the most important one. Then this one, and then this one. Okay. And here is the first thing where mathematically helps us. Usually also there's multiplication before addition. Yeah? Multiplication, product before sum. Yeah? Here also and before or. Yeah? There is not even before. Yeah? Not before and before or. Okay? These are the yield. The yield. Okay? Let's have a look at the laws with the and. So, if there is some signal, yeah, and zero, and zero, yeah, this is always zero. Yeah. Something and false is false. That's it. Okay? And if there is something and true, yeah, and it is the same. Like before. Is, is this false? Then this is false. Is this true? Then this is true. Okay. Also here, x multiplied by zero is zero. Same rule applies. This is why this sign makes sense in my opinion. Okay. x multiplied by one it would be x. So also if not read in Boolean algebra, then this would work x and x is also x. It's not x squared. Here the analogy ends. Yeah. So if this is true, this is true, then this is true. If this is false, this is false. Okay, logic. I told you, logic. And x and not x is always false. Yeah. 
This must be always false. Because if this is true, this is false, so it's false. If this is false, then it's false anyway. This one can be expanded. If there are several signals, x1 and x2 and x3 and punk 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 and xn and zero, this is always zero. So if we do have here all ends together, yeah, and the end one is zero, everything is zero. Yeah? Everything is false. And this can also be expanded. If there is x1 and x2 and x3 and so on, up to xn and true, then we can simply forget about this true. It's true because it is not influencing the behavior. x1 and x2 and x3 and up to xn and true is the same like if there was no true. Of course, x1 and x2 is the same as x2 and x1. Okay? It's exactly the same. It does not really matter which order. And also brackets x1 and x2 and x3 is the same as x1 and x2 and x3. Brackets do not really influence the behavior. Okay. This is the end part. Now let's have a look at the or part. So something or false. Yeah? Is the same as something. It's clear, hopefully. Yeah? Something or false, it was something. If this is false, this is false. If this is true, this is true. This has no influence. Yeah? Also, here, mathematically correct, x plus zero would be x. Yeah? And x or, or true is always true. Yeah? Something or true is always true. Something or something is the same thing, yeah. This is true, this is true, this is true, so false, false. Yeah. Something and not something, the same thing, yeah. this is now always true. Because if this is true, this is false. However, this is then true. If this is false, this is true, and this is also true. Again, this one can be expanded. Yeah? So x, x1, x2, x3, and so on, up to xn. Or false. Yeah? Then it's exactly the same as without this. So is x1 or x2 or x3 or up to xn or false? This or false does not really change the outcome. Yeah. Different than this if we would add or true because if we would have x1 or x2 or x3 up to xn or true, it is always true. It does not really matter what the axes are, if there is somewhere a true inside, a for sure true, then it's true. And also here, it does not really matter, x1 or x2 is the same like x2 or x1. So also the ors are exchangeable from, and also the brackets do not really matter. Okay. By the brackets. Yeah. Here we have another benefit. 
of our mathematical, standard mathematical writing. Yeah? Because if we have something like this, x1 and x2 or x3, yeah? so here is an and, and here is an or. Then we can solve this exactly as we are used in mathematics. Then with x1 and x2 or x1 and x3. Okay. We do not have to learn these pikes and v's and so on. And, and what is now point? What was yeah. if we use this? We're fine. Then it looks like a mathematical thing for us. And that's the big disadvantage by using these symbols, yeah, the standard symbols, like also it's in mathematics. We do not exactly know if this is now an equation in, in a Boolean algebra or an equation, standard algebra equation. Yeah. This might be tricky. So that's the symbols, that's the rules, that's the symbols. Yeah. We are using this dot and this plus sign. Yeah. But we're talking x and false, not x multiplied by zero. Okay. x and false is false. There's one special thing. Yeah. There's one special thing. The law of the Morgan. De Morgan was a mathematician, mathematician yeah? and he found out that if two things, x1 and x2, so there is an and, and this we do invert, then this is the same like x1 inverted or x2 inverted. Okay. It says this is exactly the same. Let's have a look on the table of truth. x1, x2. Yeah. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Let's have a look at this one x1 and x2. This is only here. And square, so we end up with 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay? This is this part. x1 and x2, this would be this line. Yeah, and everything else zero, and then inverted, looks like this. And here, not x1 and not x2, or not x2. Yeah. Not x1 is here, is here. Yeah. So here we have ones. And, or not x2 is here, they have already one, and here. And here, really exactly the same pattern. Okay. This is this one. Exactly the same pattern. There is no difference. From logic point of view, those two are equivalent. Okay. We can even expand this to a number of inputs. Yeah. We can write x1 and x2 and x3 and and so on yeah? is the same as x1 or x2 or x3 puncti 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 so here we have the ands here we have the ors and the only thing different is the negotiation the negation Oh, this one, this one, this one. Here the single things are. Here the single things are. This was wrong. Forget this. Okay. 
it also works the other way around. So if we do have x1 or x2, if we do have this or here, and this is not big not, then this is actually the same as x1 and x2 and also only the single ones are. Let's make again a test by using the table of truths x1, x2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. x1 and x2, or x1 or x2, would be the last three one inverted, so it's only the top one. Okay. This is this part. Not x1 here and not x2. So both are zero is here. And not here, not here, not here. Exactly the same again. This is this part. Rule law of the Morgan. So also here, x1 or x2 or x3 and so on equals x1 and x2 and x3 and so on. Here we have the ors. Here we have the ands. And here we have the nots. This here is called rule of the Morgan. Okay. This is used quite often, surprisingly often. Yeah. Right now it sounds a little bit abstract, yeah. but we'll see. This will be used quite often. Law of the Morgan. Satz von dem Morgan. In symbols, yeah, if you're using the symbols, like in the last thing, this means here we have the inverting thing yeah, and an end. This is an end. This is an end. Yeah. And this is exactly the same like an OR. Use also the correct color, an OR. And the inputs are now inverted. Yeah. These two things are the same. Ta -ta. And here we have an OR this is this one, this one okay. and this is exactly the same like an AND with inverted inputs Exactly the same. Yeah? So we can even use this in our circuit, yeah? logic circuit. Rule of the Morgan. We oh, see it's getting important if you're talking about NAND and NOR technology. Rule of the Morgan. Yeah. And that's it. That's about Boolean algebra. Yeah. So, 
That's fully in algebra. There's nothing more to tell. We will get used to this over the last, over the, the last, over the next videos, not the last videos. Yeah? The next videos we will get used to it. This we will get, we will use several times. Yeah? So that's it for this time. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.